What is going on everybody? My name is Sweat if you guys are new and welcome back to another Apex Legends video. In today's video guys, we are doing a little bit of a ranked review in gold. Now I know I kind of started this series a little bit late into the season, so I do apologize. The rank split is going to end in one more day, but don't worry. These tips will carry over to future seasons, so don't have any doubts in your mind that you can apply these tips to future seasons but anyways here we got a dentrix gameplay for us in gold 2 let's get right into it guys not waste any time you guys already know the deal drop a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video and subscribe to the channel if you're new let's get into it All right, so this is going to be another calmless gameplay what i mean by that is there is no communication be between him and his teammates at least that we can hear Right off the bat and this is also the first pc player on this list on this list i mean like in rank that we've seen okay Extended sniper mag here level three looks like we got a capital city or a fragment landing scans too good scan right there Right here, first thing I'm noticing right off the bat is that you instantly want to take that zip line probably up to third or fourth floor because you'll have a way better angle on these guys. And obviously, if you get one low from the third or fourth floor, then you can instantly push these guys. And in rank, you don't want to be fighting for a while because that can definitely hurt you and attract third parties as well. Now you can see he does go on top. That's what I mean by going third floor would have been the best play right here. This guy's running out in the open, absolutely lost. I don't know what that guy's doing on the other team. Good capitalization on that mistake by that guy. Right, So right now, instantly, they have that first knock. I would communicate with your team if possible. I would imagine they're talking in game chat. I hope they are. But I would say to jump to this roof right in front of us right now. Because if they all jump to this roof right now, they would have a 3v2 on the guys inside. And that would obviously not give them time to res definitely definitely a good job punishing that guy for extending way too far out without any cover i don't know what that guy was doing but let's see how they play this out see they have an instant third party that's what i was talking about and that teammate gets third party which is why you do not want to take long fighting at all whatsoever looks like the teammate did wipe that squad but you definitely got to be careful of the other team and right here, Dendrix, the only thing I would say is definitely want to be covering your teammates. Right now, you're kind of just running all over on the roof. You definitely need to give your teammates some sort of sort of like cover. Hopefully, they're inside at least. I don't really know where they are. Thank you, Dyson. Oh, they are talking. I didn't know if we had comms or not. I don't think uh, Dendrix has, had, has uh, said anything yet. Good shot right there. Good knock. That's a fantastic knock. This is, I like this play, pushing over. Okay, okay, teammates, teammates. We got a little punch war going on. Good job from the teammates with the help right there. Not bad, not bad. Very good knock by Dendrix to uh, get that situation rolling right there. Primary knocks are absolutely key and ranked. And right now we're looking at an R9 alternator. Definitely want to get a more long-range weapon, I would say. And also, I'm not a big fan of carrying two of the same ammo types. So you can see right now he has two light weapons, alternator R99. At some point, honestly, I probably would have kept that energy mag just in case I found a Volt or a Havoc. I would probably switch over because I don't really like running too light or too heavy or too energy because you run out of bullets so much faster. Unless, obviously, you can keep finding that ammo over and over and over. And then maybe, like, a Scout and an R9 isn't the worst combo. But, for the most part, see, he could use that on the Havoc right now. Which is exactly my point. I don't know if he doesn't like the Havoc or what the problem is. But I would definitely go back, grab that uh, magazine, and take the Havoc. Because it's going to be more ammo in your pocket. He does have 160 right in that Loba ult. Okay, he's going to elect to take the Mastiff. And the alternator. Very close range again. I would definitely elect for a... You got shotgun ammo in the thing, don't you? Unless it was not in there. I'm not really sure. If there was not in there, then... And that's the thing. 
All right, so good KP off the rip. We got three KP. There was some in there. That's what I'm saying. Grabs it. Perfect. Once again, like I said, I would definitely upgrade the alternator to probably a 301 or a G7. Something long range because you're going to be able to do no damage from long range. Unless your alternator shot is absolutely sturdy. And it's going to have to be really sturdy. I'm just taking a peek around Cap City right now. Looking at the inventory. I've gotten a lot of questions about inventory. How do you how do you manage your inventory perfectly or whatever? There's no right or wrong way to manage your inventory as long as you have a basic Oh my god. Oh my god. We got very careless right there. As I was talking about inventory. I don't know how he got out of that situation. Oh Are you not dead? Oh my god, he's very lucky to survive that situation. I would definitely be communicating with your team, telling them that you're getting pushed by one of them. Oh, he didn't actually follow up on that. He got a little freezage. I don't know what that was. Yeah, that was just lack of awareness, honestly, by Dendrix. I would be scanning every now and then. Okay, some good shots by the teammate. I think he's connecting on some of these, obviously, because he's flesh. Got him down. Yeah, that was a very, very fortunate situation to get out of. There's no way in uh, higher than gold that you would have got out of that situation. Absolutely no shot. Some batteries and the purple armor. Not a bad choice. Okay, you're scanning two. Definitely focus this guy on the left with your team. Good knock. Good, very good knock. Push this Gibby. Full force. Everybody's got to push this Gibby. I don't know why there's why it's freezing like that. Hopefully that doesn't keep happening. I apologize. I would definitely heal. Yeah, this thing is freezing so much. Alright, good knock on the Gibraltar. Definitely gotta heal up or shield swap something. Finally pops the bat, which isn't a bad move. We're working our way over. You got this guy kind of trapped on the doorway. Teammate needs to, I was gonna say. Lyric fanboy. I'm gonna take the Phoenix kit right now. I was gonna say, during that situation, the teammate needs to open that door a lot sooner. You would not have taken nearly as much damage if the teammate opened the door or the teammate on the right peaked uh, early enough. And now you're getting third party. So instantly pop this Phoenix and then scan behind you, I would say. And also, I like I said, I don't know why this game is freezing so much. I do apologize. I think it's the video. I'm squads. Yeah, that, that's ranked for you. Third party on third party on third party. Get scan. That guy's down low. I wouldn't even worry about him. Right there, you're shooting the cargo bot. I would not have even worried about that because you're basically giving them a free gold cargo bot if those guys go back. Because you're not going to go get that, I doubt. I'm trying to leave. See, he's uh, communicating, telling them that they want to leave. He wants to leave. He's got the KP, which wouldn't be a bad move, honestly. If they wanted to leave right now, they easily could. I, I guarantee you that they at least have KP, all of them, at least some KP. They are in a bad situation. In this side of Fragment, that building to their left right now, to Dendrix's left, uh, is definitely the dominant building the back left and the other side on the back are definitely dominant buildings so uh i wouldn't doubt if they do end up getting out of here because they're in a bad spot right now also pinched in between two teams i would definitely leave the situation go to construction maybe they elect to go into the building and just wait it out on the edge of zone which is also not the best not the worst either Taking stuff from the Loba ult. Taking it down, which is good, so nobody can use it. You gotta get out of that building. We gotta rotate. Tries to get some shots off. I don't know if even that's the best play right now. So right in front of them, guys, there's this building. I like to call it construction, and that's what a popular call out and ranked is. Uh, but I would have already been there. I would have 100% already been there because there was that team to your left, and then there was the team behind you. 
So there's two teams collapsing into zone at once. You don't want to really be the third, which you are the third team collapsing into zone right now. And you're lucky that nobody's really fighting right now. Or pushing into you, rather. Because I could easily pinch you guys. So right now, I would still go to construction. Looks like that's... There's a lot of nothingness going on right now, guys. I know you guys like to see the whole gameplay. I don't really know what they're doing right now. They finally go and take construction. A lot of time wasted, uh, Dendrix. Not gonna lie. A lot of time wasted. But that's not a that's not always a bad thing. So this situation. Could have been obviously moving towards zone quicker. I have nothing long range. You can hear him say that he has nothing long range. That's exactly what I'm talking about. That alternator mastiff combo is not gonna be the best. Keeps kind of swapping the... Oh, he has two digis. I wouldn't go with two digis, honestly. Two digis. Two digis. You only need really one of them. Scan below. I wish he would check his map. If he could check his map, it would be absolutely perfect to see where the zone is. Because they are going to need to rotate. They're taking way too long to rotate here. They're kind of just camped on the edge of zone. And it looks like, to me... They have a pretty far rotation to make. So hopefully they don't mess up and wait too long. Nice choice. Right now it's looking like it. Yeah, take that Phoenix here for the cells. There you go. Okay, they got a minute left to move. They should not be worried about holding these guys at the edge edge. They should worry about getting in and getting themselves positioned for late late game you just heard he said let's go circle there's a lot of time there wasted again doing nothing and we could have rotated been rotated before a lot of other teams now you're risking you're risking a ton of other teams being in this gap over here so and they already are there they beat you there so now it makes your job even tougher depends where you guys want to go now didn't didn't really need to pop the ultimate right there but i guess it's good for seeing where teams are exactly you got that guy to your right You're, you have no choice basically but to go either straight into the team in front of you or go through train in the right side and that's going to be a disaster of the uh, rotation you can see guys shooting with an alternator we're shooting with an alternator on round two with three seconds closing and this is the zone you guys got so far to go and there's you're not hitting these guys there's no shot this is just wasted bullets wasted bullets wasted time so i would definitely hit that jump pad get going you got to either 1v1 or uh like squad v squad this team right here and push through them because you're not going to go all the way over there most likely and you're not going to be able to go around towards train station right now because you wasted so much time uh, shooting these two teams. I guess the ammo situation didn't really matter. I would have definitely, with that Loba ult, swapped out for a long range weapon though. Definitely would have been my choice. See, now you got this team that you're collapsing on. So you have to win this. You actually do get a knock, which is good. Got a fuse ult on you. Oh, this is a bad situation. now you're trapped in zone my god this the fact that this video keeps freezing is real yeah that's a hundred percent he said stupid ass circle but if you rewatch this video you'll know exactly what you guys should have done and you'll be like he's right i should have a hundred percent rotated earlier you guys took way too long and now you're fighting not only the team in front of you but you're also fighting zone and that's always like the worst scenario. This video is just freezing every two seconds. I'm sorry, guys. Taking a Phoenix kit. Like I said, you guys got so far to go in zone. You got actually two squads here. Collapsing on one area in zone. 
That's exactly the problem with rotating too late. Got the knock on that guy, which is good. So now I hope you guys notice, like, and I hope Dendrix doesn't take this offensively. But like I said, I gotta reinforce it. By the time that they get out of this zone, look at the timer right now. 138 until next zone, and they are miles away from this zone. They are super, super fortunate if they win this game. I don't know. I haven't watched it yet. If they end up winning this game, it's very lucky because a team should be holding them out right now. And they should have a bounce pad. There we go. Gonna try to bounce pad into zone. They're running into zone with a minute left. We have one more heat shield if we need a hill. I have one too. They got enough heat shields to make it. It's just the fact that they're rotating so far. I should have heard him though. Like it looks like there's a team up there if we want to hill before we get into the fight. And the ring is far. There is a team in front of them fighting too. But luckily, I would take this situation 100% to get into zone. I would have just booked it in the zone. Definitely want to fight when they are fighting, so you can third party or either just get in zone. A gold I don't know why you canceled that med kit right there. Playing a lot of wasted time. Yeah, they gotta get into zone right now. See, now that they rotated all the way to zone, they have to sit on the edge again. And they have 16 seconds to get into the next zone. Oh my god, this the freezing is really just annoying me. I'm sorry, guys. I should have freaking watched this earlier. I don't know why it's doing that. But there's a lot you can learn from this gameplay, so we're still going to go with it. Yeah, and now they're going to get caught in zone again. Like I said, in the higher tier lobbies, this would not fly. There would definitely be a team waiting for you. You would be getting burned right now for these mistakes. You can see that they're rezzing, which is lucky for them. Very lucky for them. Well, they got into zone flawlessly, which is good. All right, so we cut a little bit further into the video because all they were doing was looting for a good chunk of time. Now they are rotating into dome or whatever this lava city. So they scan two, which is good. That is definitely not going to make it anywhere. Oh, it actually did get over. I'm surprised they got over. Good shots right there with the alternator. Holy crap. Good shots again. Dan or Dendrix is absolutely beaming right now. He should be communicating that to his teammates, though. It's the only mistake that I'm noticing out of this situation so far. Definitely be communicating. He's cracked. He's cracked right now. Full push that guy, you know. Got the knock, which is good. And then you got the other team up top you got to worry about. See, the teammate, the teammate knows the comms. And now they're at a tough situation. And that alternator is definitely not doing you any favors for long range. Right now would also be another good time to swap out for a long range gun. Lux to keep the alternator the whole game. They're going to need a pad to get out of this situation. It's not going to be good if they're running out in the open. God forbid they do make it out of the open somehow. I I, I wouldn't see that being a possibility right here whatsoever. They're going to need that pad. Can someone get there or no? The ring is close. 
They left. Definitely get in that building now. I don't know why that team just left that position. Terrible mistake by that team. They hold that position, they win the game. Unless it's one guy, that's why he left. I don't I don't really know. But they're moving on the roof. Okay, that team is playing roof. Decent shots by Dendrix. Not enough to push on though. You gotta get at least a crack to push on a team. If not a down. Okay, so four hostiles. One solo and a team of three. See again. Oh. You're not probably gonna grab that cargo bot anyway, so. Not too much point in doing that. But it is what it is. Dang, this guy has Lobo ult every two seconds, I swear to god. I've seen so many Lobo ults this game, it's unbelievable. He got a frag, and he's got a arc star, I think he took, or a thermite, one or the other. And now we're just playing high ground. Waiting for these teams to fight. Definitely want to be the third party in this scenario, but it's probably a solo. So it's going to be really tough to uh, actually third party while they're fighting. I'd probably just wipe them very quickly. Definitely get a scan going right now. See where they're at. Yep. So it might be two and two. It's actually two and two, which is even better for them. Still want to be the last team to fight in this scenario, and you have roof advantage, which is good. So we got 40 seconds uh, no. till ring close yeah. right now. Wrath and a bat, not a bad move. Not really sure why he dropped his syringes for that. Because he might need those. Oh, they're rotating way too early. That's a terrible rotation. Very good punishment on that. Get off that roof, get inside. That ult was very, very early from that Bangalore. Way too early. Now I would definitely pop the Hound. This is going to get intense right now. And he does it. Perfect. Screen freezage. Love to see it. So that team's trying to take height. I would just hold outside, honestly. If there's any angles to hold outside, I would definitely hold it. Oh, this is risky. Good shot, though. Good knock. Good kill. Let's go. The other team is trapped inside now. So you just got to play outside and you win the game, basically. Or they could push in. I don't know. It's only one guy. Stuck by that arc star. Alright, healing up on the roof here. Oh, is there two of them? Alright. Good stuff. Good stuff, guys. The only thing I would say, like I said earlier on in the video, and I've been hammering it down... Uh, basically, the entire video was just the rotations uh, in that video were very, very slow. There was a lot of time spent really doing nothing, looting, uh, looting like for extra grenades and stuff that really weren't totally necessary. And like I said in the very beginning, when you took the alternator, I was hoping that you would take more of a long range weapon. Once you get into those higher tier lobbies like Diamond, Platinum, Diamond, uh, Predator, obviously, Masters. Uh, it's going to be a lot of poke battles, a lot of long-range shooting. So definitely get used to long-range weapons. Get comfortable with them because they're not going anywhere. Those long-range weapons could easily win you the game. But nonetheless, a good win right here for the squad. Good communication. I would definitely be uh, communicating a little bit more on shield cracks and characters that are cracked. 
uh, that will definitely help your team out in the long run our player was a little bit quiet in this video but nonetheless guys a great game and i hope you guys enjoyed this video learned something from it i do apologize for the constant freezes i don't really know what was happening with that it's probably uh his recording device or something but have a great day guys like i said i hope you enjoyed and peace out